Hello, have I got an idea for you. If you're in need of a fan for your shop, garage, or to evacuate your house if it's full of smoke, you need to move a lot of air fast, and you don't want to spend a lot of money, here's a great do-it-yourself activity. I recently had an air conditioner and heater pulled out of my house, and uh, the air conditioner was what was bad and the heater was just old. And when they were getting it out, I said, what are you going to do with that uh, squirrel fan inside that uh, heater? And the guy said, we're just going to dump it in the dumpster. And I thought, could I pull it out? So the guy showed it to me and he said, yeah, you just remove these three screws. It's easy out for servicing. I pulled them out, slid this unit right out. And now I'm going to show you how I took this and I used some plywood and a little bit of screws and some uh, junk uh, little wheels that I had and put this together as a great little fan for your shop. If you want to find out how I did this, stay tuned. Well, here's your first problem. Where are you going to get one of these? Well, you can look around and if you see one being replaced in your neighborhood, you can just ask somebody for it. Or if you slip someone 10 bucks, I imagine they'll give it to you because it's going to the dumpster anyway. Now, you can head on down to an air conditioning contractor and I would imagine they would be happy to share one of these with you for this project. When you finally find one of these units, three screws and whoosh, take it out, it's yours. First thing I thought about in making this is safety. I have grandchildren and other people may come around and you don't want your hand to go into here, here, or on the other side. So what I did is I bought a little bit of chicken wire and I tacked it down on the inside of this piece of plywood, cut out a hole, cut this shape out and routed it round, and then I just used sheet metal screws to hold it down here. Later I thought, boy, that's going to move a lot of dust around. So I went to Home Depot and I bought this material that's used for um, heater um, filters in the house and I cut it and you can see it fits right in here, nice and tight. And so this is also cleaning out the air as it goes through this device. If I spin it around, you can see right here I made a frame. I just cut a square with my jigsaw out of this piece of plywood and I attached it down again with sheet metal, metal screws with the chicken wire on the back side. Um, with this the fan shoots the air down and in order to divert it I put this piece of wood here and then I have a second little shelf device down here and I just go like this and when I slip it in here now the air hits this and it kind of bounces it up at that angle and it works better for my garage. I can pull it out to put it away and just set it right here. As I rotate this around, you can see on this edge here, I had the problem where part of the motor came out. So what I did is I uh, put large blocks of wood in the four corners of this piece of wood. And I drilled a hole right through here, through the blocks of wood, and into the sheet metal and again I attached the, the blocks down first and then I attached this piece of wood to the blocks. After doing that I put chicken wire around it and I thought hey you know dust is going to go through there too so I put some more of this filter material and I made this kind of handsome looking side part that protects the motor yet lets ventilation go through the side. If I spin it around this way on the top you can see I, it wants to roll on me here. You can see I put a handle, $4.99 from Home Depot. And if I continue spinning it around, you can see on the back side, this is still the shape of it. And I cut a piece of wood for the bottom, just a base. I happen to have these little tiny coaster wheels. Uh, you could put any kind of wheels or no wheels. You could just set it on the floor but I have these wheels and it's quite heavy so it's nice to move it around. And all I did is drill some holes into the sides here, put some screws through the sheet metal down into this wood. It holds it good and tight. Uh, lastly, uh, I looked around and I had just in my electrical junk drawer 
I had a nice uh, piece of wire cut off from some other unit and I wired them onto the wires for this fan and I was going to put a switch on it but it was a lot easier for me to just use this device. I don't know if you've seen these but again from Home Depot. Oh boy it gets in there really tight but that's what it looks like and it's got a little on sorry about that on off switch and it plugs in so I can plug this in and when it's in there like that then I can go ahead and plug the fan into this and when I want to turn on the fan it's just as easy as that and it goes on and it blows up just a ton of air and the way I figure this thing has been running for at least 15 years in my house and it had no problems and I'll probably get another 15 years of almost continuous use in the so I think it's going to run for a long, long time. And, you know, when I need it, it would be for if the garage just gets too darn hot, this will evacuate the garage very quickly. Or if I get a lot of dust in the air, I could even use it as a, um, a filter system. So uh, I hope this gives you some idea. You can put it together and put it to some good use. It's kind of sad that in our country, stuff like this is trashed all the time and just used for scrap metal when I bet this is going to give me years of utility in my garage. I have to break in because after having completed this first version, I found that there's a problem. These fans are constructed so they can draw air through the entire house and they need that resistance of pulling that air through all that tubing so the motor doesn't overrun itself. And the way I have this right now, with a lot of airflow easily coming in here, that's not good for the motor. So one of my viewers suggested that I constrict it in some way. And what I'm going to do is take and remove this piece of wood. And you can see here, I cut a round piece of plywood on my bandsaw by just having a center point and spinning it through the blade and I cut kind of a washer for the back side and what I'm planning to do is remove this and put this over the filter to constrict the air and cut it down to a more normal situation for that fan motor to deal with. So you can see I have this here I still have a filtration area on the back side, I have my wooden washer and a metal lock washer and a bolt or nut turned very tightly so this isn't going to go anywhere. You can see here I have my restrictor in place with the filter right here that's still doing its job. I still have a good amount of airflow going through. My motor is protected because it's not freewheeling anymore. And I think I'm good to go. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.